Hi and welcome to our lesson on decimals on a number line, where we will look at counting in fifths. We'll begin with a short recap of counting in tenths. We have a scale ranging from 0 to 1. To get from 0 to 1, there are 10 steps. The scale is divided into 10 parts, so we will be counting up in tenths, or 0.1s. The first mark on the scale is 0.1, which is the same as 1 tenth. Next is 0.2, which is 2 tenths, 0.3, 3 tenths, 0.4, 4 tenths, 0.5, 5 tenths, 0.6, 6 tenths, 0.7, 7 tenths, 0.8, 8 tenths, 0.9, 9 tenths, and finally 1, which is 10 tenths, or 1 whole. Again we have a scale ranging from 0 to 1, but this time to get from 0 to 1 we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 steps. So the scale is divided into 5 parts, or fifths. This means we will be counting up in fifths, or 0.2s. This is because instead of taking 10 steps, we are taking 5 steps so we need to cover twice the distance in each step. Therefore, instead of counting in 0.1s, we need to count in 0.2s. The first mark on the scale will be 0.2, which is the same as 1 fifth. The second mark is 0.4, which is 2 fifths, then 0.6, which is 3 fifths, 0.8, 4 fifths, and finally 1, which is 5 fifths, or 1 whole. Here we have a scale ranging from 1 to 2 and 2 to 3. To get from 1 to 2, there are 5 steps. To get from 2 to 3, there are also 5 steps. We are asked to label the values on the number line that are indicated by the arrows. Because there are 5 steps from 1 to 2, and from 2 to 3, we are counting in fifths, or 0.2s. So we can begin by counting up from 1. We have 1 1.2, 1 1.4, and 1.6, which is our first answer. Next, we can count on from 2. We have 2.2 and 2.4, which is our second answer. In this example, the scale ranges from 25 to 27. This thicker line in the centre is the halfway point. The number that is halfway between 25 and 27 is 26. To get from 25 to 26, there are 5 steps. To get from 26 to 27, there are also 5 steps. So we are counting up in 0.2s. Starting from 25, we have 25.2 and 25.4, which is our first answer. Starting from 26, we have 26.2, 26.4, 26.6 and 26.8, which is our second answer. We could have also found the second answer by counting back from 27. On this scale, we are given the numbers 15.6, 15.8 and 16. To get from 15.6 to 15.8 and from 15.8 to 16, we add 0.2. This tells us that we are counting in 0.2s. We can count back from 15.6. We have 15.4 and 15.2, which is our first answer. Continuing, we have 15, 14.8 and 14.6, which is our second answer. Continuing, 
we have 14.4, 14.2 and 14, which is our third answer. Here are some questions for you to try. Write the decimal represented at each arrow. Pause the video and have a go. Question 1. To get from 3 to 4, there are 5 steps. So we will be counting in 0.2s. Starting from 3, we have 3.2. Continuing, we have 3.4, 3.6 and 3.8. Question 2. From 6 to 7, there are 5 steps. And from 7 to 8, there are 5 steps. So we're counting in 0.2s. Starting from 6, we have 6.2, 6.4 and 6.6. Counting from 7, we have 7.2 and 7.4. Question 3. To get from 8 to 9, there are 5 steps. So starting from 9, if we count another 5 steps, we reach the next whole number, which is 10. Starting from 8, we have 8.2 and 8.4. Starting from 9, we have 9.2. Question 4. We are given the numbers 4.4, 4.6 and 5. To get from 4.4 to 4.6, we add 0.2. So we are counting in 0.2s. Starting from 4.4, we can count backwards to give 4.2 and 4. Counting on from 4.6, we have 4.8. Counting on from 5, we have 5.2, 5.4 and 5.6. The final numbers on the scale are 5.8 and 6. Thank you for watching. If you would like further practice, more questions are available on our website.